All right, hello, let's do this. Welcome fellow entrepreneurs. It's a great day to be a small business owner on the Shopify platform because a big feature that has been in the works is now here. One page checkout has finally arrived. This is something that has been in early access for a long time. This has been something that was in the Shopify summer editions in the past summer. This feature has been getting teased and there's been early access and there's been rumors and there's been videos and there's been all kinds of stuff. And now it is finally here. One page checkout has arrived. In one sentence, what is one-page checkout? One-page checkout is Shopify's way of optimizing their checkout to drive more conversions for your small business. Instead of having the three-page checkout that Shopify currently has, they are turning this into a long-form one-page checkout that looks like this and looks like this so that small businesses like yours and mine reduce our bounce rate, reduce our abandoned cart rate, and one simple way that they are gonna do this is by turning their three-page checkout system into one long-standing checkout page. Like I said, one-page checkout has been teased for a while. It seems like this whole year almost. And then most recently, it was teased again in Shopify's Summer 23 editions, which I covered in length and in full to keep all you small business entrepreneurs up to date on the latest and greatest products and updates coming to the platform. If you want to watch my Summer 23 playlist, I highly recommend it. You can watch that here. Now Shopify has been over the last few months really been emphasizing that their checkout is so much better in comparison to their competition by an average of 15%. And now to really drive home this point, they are introducing one page checkout, which is a further optimization that is very clear and and will make a large difference on your small business and my small. I did a video on these findings on why Shopify has a much better checkout than its competition. You can watch that video here. So we finally have some for sure dates of when this will be available. It says here in the article, if you are on the basic Shopify or advanced plan, your checkout will be auto updated to the new design by the first week of October, 2023. In fact, if you have a Shopify store like I do, our multiple Shopify stores like I do, I got a bunch of emails this morning, September 26th, dating that your one page checkout will automatically be updated to the new one page design on October 2nd on October 2nd, which is really good because it's finally in the works. It doesn't matter if you sign up for early access or not. I signed up for early access very late, which was not really early access and I never really heard back from that. So I didn't get a chance to look into it. And we can see here that is available to all plans except for the starter plan. And this is gonna be a big deal. In fact, we can see this new banner update in our store admin. So this is just a test store right now, but if we go to our settings, to our checkout settings, Ooh, we will see it right here at the top of the page. A nice blue banner. Usually these banners that surprise you are red because something terrible has gone wrong or yellow. But in this case, it's a nice, calming, light blue that says your checkout will update to one page checkout on October 2nd, 2023. One page checkout is shorter, faster, and friction free. You can preview and update it now or your checkout will automatically update on October 2nd. Then of course it gives you the option to learn more, which we'll dive into in one second. We can preview the one new one page checkout. I can't preview it right now because this is just a test store that isn't taking orders, but we can click update checkout now. We click this, it will give us our, your store will permanently update to one page checkout which will auto update to October 2nd. It doesn't look like there's an option to not do this if you prefer the three page checkout. It looks like you can update it now or it will update on October 2nd. So we can click update. It says your checkout has been updated to one page checkout with a nice green banner. And then if we go to our checkout, it will look something like this. So no longer three headings, you have your address bar here, you have your shipping bar here, and then you have your payment bar here. All the customer has to do is scroll down the page instead of going horizontally, next page, next page, next page. And Shopify has found that this small optimization has increased conversion rate. The link to the Shopify help center hasn't been updated. It looks like as this is brand new breaking news this morning, as it still says that the one page checkout is in early access. It does warn you that there could be some changes that you need to update here in the article. For example, in one of my stores, we were looking to add some coding to our checkout page because we know that the checkout page is a very secure page and it's not very customizable. You can add your image and the header and then you can add a logo, but then other than that and the color scheme of the checkout page, there's not much functionality that you can do unless you code it in yourself. So me and my team, we were looking to add a little 
the small piece of code, we were just looking to add a small additional button at the bottom of our checkout page. And we were reminded that one page checkout is coming soon. We didn't know at the time that it was coming this week or a week from now, but we decided to hold off on any ad additional coding on our checkout because if we added the checkout code to our checkout page and one page checkout then gets released, we don't know how this, this specific code will impact the new one page checkout. So now that one page checkout is coming soon or you can enable it on your stores by going to the checkout settings, or we will be happy to revisit this and see the difference. It also says scrolling down the page a little bit that language customizations available for one page checkout. The one page checkout has the following additional language customizations available and it goes through the list of billing, shipping, payment, customer account, review, and stock. So I think mainly what this is trying to tell you is that if you sell in multiple markets, first off, that you may have to just translate these sections once again. And then secondly, what it is telling you is that if you wanted to edit these sections in the default theme content, these are additional language customizations that are now available. You can always edit default theme content by navigating to your online store, clicking the three dots here in the menu, and then clicking edit default theme content. And I bet if you go through this list, you will see some new options that you can customize for your brand, for your brand story or your brand image. And of course, translate. If you are translating to multiple languages using a geolocation app or a third party app, you might just have to look over these sections once again. So it's a very exciting time. It's a very exciting day. This checkout is supposed to be shorter and faster for your customers. It is optimized to increase your conversion rate and that it is upgrade safe with no additional work updates or maintenance on your part. Good to see. It is also interesting that they noted that there is no long scrolling in this section. As you could imagine, if you have one long page, surely it's a lot of information for the customer to scroll all the way down. They also address this as well because it says they automatically automatically roll up filled content into a summarizing title, allowing buyers to focus on filling out the next section without being distracted by previous inputs. This result is clean, easy to navigate, and enhances the buyer's experience. So what that is saying is that once somebody fills out the address, it will scroll down automatically. And then once somebody fills out the payment details, it will scroll down automatically to the next section, to the next section, to the next section, instead of the customer scrolling one very long, large page. So that's it. It's finally fun to see this project come to realization after a lot of whispers and talks and early access links and it not being available yet and then it being teased again in Shopify summer editions. A nice little surprise this morning, hopefully a nice surprise for you as well. Go to your checkout settings, try it out yourself, get comfortable with it and increase your conversion rate. If this video has helped you, leave a like so I know I just like helping fellow entrepreneurs on this channel. And if you want to join a free community of like-minded entrepreneurs so we can all grow our dreams together, consider subscribing. And if you do, I will see you in the next video.